We are finally seeing examples of why some math textbooks were rejected by the state. One math problem shows a graph, you see it right behind us, and that measures racial prejudice by age. Fox 35's Matt Treza has a closer look at the books. Here's one of the math textbook sections the Department of Education says crossed the line. What? Me? Racist? This excerpt of an unnamed textbook launches into a math lesson. I, I would think that that's basically almost uh, trying to create a debate. Or how about this question? Asking students questions based on a graph that shows the levels of racial bias among different age groups. I feel like for math, we should be focused more so on the numbers. People in Cranes Roost Park say it's very different than how previous generations learn math. It was the old school. It was just, you know, one plus one, and you went down your columns and you carried over. I mean, it was very simplified. These are all examples the State Department of Education gave Fox 35 after we'd been requesting them for a week. Last week, the state announced it was rejecting 54 math books from the curriculum because of references to critical race theory and more. The state also showed these examples, two pieces of text mentioning the importance of social and emotional learning, or SEL. That's the practice of teaching children empathy and expressing their emotions freely. The DeSantis administration doesn't want that in the curriculum. Edgewater High School math teacher Ashley Modesto disagrees. It's surprising that, they, that they're against having anything with SEL in the textbooks because it's something that has ever since the Parkland shooting, we have seen such a push for. We asked for the publisher's information so we could reach out and get their response to the controversy, but the state didn't provide their information. Modesto says she doesn't see a problem with incorporating real world issues into the classroom. It will be nice if we could say, okay, when these doors close, that there is no aspect of the problem from the outside impacting our students. But I mean, how realistic really is that? Modesto says she does see merit in moving away from the common core system for teaching math. Publisher McGraw-Hill got back to us saying they're working with the State Department of Education to upgrade their texts to meet Florida's new standards. In Altamont Springs, Matt Treza, Fox 35 News.